남전 전이라도 키 남전이라서. Honored sir, that you are here. Yes, stage is yours. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for organizing this important and historical meeting today. Why I am using the word historical? By now, we all know that for the first time, NDP and BJP is sponsoring lady candidates for the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. And out of three seats, our coalition where we have given tickets to women, these eight Western Nangami is one of them. Nagaland state has started its journey in 1960, at that point of time, so much year has gone by now, but till today, we do not have a female legislator in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Whatever may be the reason, this time, Honorable Chief Minister Sidney Fiu Rio has taken a historical decision that time has come where we will not only talk about gender equality, where we will not talk only about women empowerment, but in fact, we are going to give responsibility to our women legislator to lead the destiny of the state in the days to come. I think history is going to be the, on the day of result, that is on the second, history is going to be there. We are, will be all part of that history. And I think that history will make Nagaland a much stronger state in days to come. As you know that for last five years, NDDP and BJP is providing a stable government to the people of Nagaland under the leadership of Sri Nephew Rio. Normally we see a lot of political uncertainty, but in my memory, last five years was such that we do not have to see any kind of political instability in the state of Nagaland. The reason being primarily the unique leadership provided by C. Nephew Rio, the relationship between the, our central leadership and the party here in Nagaland, that is NDDP, and the common desire for everyone to work for a better Nagaland. Last five years, we laid a lot of solid foundation for a better Nagaland. And I am sure that in these five years, in coming five years, we'll see a lot of efforts which we have put in last five years, we'll see those on ground. We have spent in last five years considerable time and energy for bringing a solution for the Naga political problem. And we have traveled lot of ground, we have covered lot of ground. And I am sure that next five years will be very, very important towards achieving that objective. We want to have a solution which will respect the uniqueness of Naga, uniqueness of the history of Naga people, and also recognize a strong friendship between the Naga people and the people living in the rest of India. 
So, I believe that these five years under the leadership of Sri Nifu Rio will work further, will work towards achieving that objective of bringing a permanent solution to the Naga political problem. As you know that NDDP and BJP is now established a solid partnership among ourselves. We have decided to contest in this election where NDDP has been allotted 40 seats, BJP has been allotted 20 seats. We are perfectly campaigning together as one entity. You have seen our national president, Sri J.P. Nadda, in this hall. Thereafter, you have seen a very important visit of our Home Minister, Sri Amit Shah, who not only visited Nagaland, but also stayed a night in Eastern Nagaland. And tomorrow we are going to see a, another, in fact, the most important visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Prime Minister will come down to Nagaland to campaign for NDDP BJP Alliance to reiterate our strong commitment for the development of Nagaland and to raise, to endorse the leadership of Sri Nephew Rio and to appeal to all of you to vote for NDDP BJP once again. So we have seen three important visits of BJP national leadership in last two weeks. That goes to show that how much my party cares for the friendship with, about the friendship with NDDP and also how much we care for the future of Nagaland. I am sure that this election is not only about the electoral alliance, this election is also showing the path for a future roadmap for the all-round development of the Nagaland. I live in a neighboring state, Assam and Nagaland. We live in harmony, we live in peace, and we belong to the same northeastern region. This election is also igniting a new spirit of Northeast. Because when people of Assam also campaign strongly for the peace and stability and development of Nagaland, and when people of Nagaland also extend its help, cooperation, for a strong, peaceful Assam, it basically ignites the spirit of Northeast. Today, whatever our identity within the region, but in greater landscape of national area or national landscape, people recognize us as a common entity called Northeast. So I believe that this election will also help us in strengthening the spirit of Northeast. We can together develop the Northeastern region we can alleviate poverty from this region. We can develop our road infrastructure. We can develop our airways. We can develop our highways. We can develop our highways because our faiths are interlinked. Today, people of Manipur cannot travel to Assam without having a good road, road, road network in Nagaland. Today, people of Nagaland cannot go to state of Meghalaya without an important good road network in Assam. So our faiths are interlinked, our future is linked, and I believe that our future generation has the right to live and develop in a region which is peaceful, which is developed, and which is the best place to live in an entire country. Ladies and gentlemen, this election we are going to spread a message of peace, development, and also a united Northeast. So today we have fortunate that we have such a towering leaders among us. Sri Nephew Rio, he is not a, only a leader of Nagaland. 
he is the most towering leader of north east he is a towering leader of entire country so he is a very important friends for bjp ndp is a very important alliance of our nda and neda so we all come here to extend our support extend our solidarity with ndp and i am particularly happy that today sri nefirio brought me to eight western angami where history is going to be written just after few days so directly or indirectly i will also be part of that great history and i am feeling extremely fortunate to be here amongst you today ladies and gentlemen we need to bring a rapid development for the state of nagaland when i was in bhandari few days back i talked about the food hill road and also not only ndp's manifesto bjp's manifesto has also spoken about certain path breaking development initiative for the state of nagaland we stand committed to our manifesto we endorse the manifesto of ndp we stand committed to the manifesto of bjp and together we will see a better nagaland for next 5 years ladies and gentlemen abu mata has raised a very important point today if you see that in nagaland no political formation has given candidate in more than 30 seats if a political combination or a political party wants to form a government then at least they have to put 31 candidate because without 31 candidate they cannot form government out of 60 they need 31 but no political party is giving that 31 candidate today at least serious candidate nobody is putting in 31 seat so most of the political party has considered defeat before the actual election has taken place they realize that we cannot form a government so what is the meaning of vote vote or what is the meaning to vote for a party who itself is saying that we are going to sit in opposition because by their act they have clearly said that we are going to sit in opposition लीडर for madam salutanu kruje to make a history once again i like to thanks all of you for helping us supporting us we just want to maintain one word that ndp bjp is a historical alliance we are known to each other for long we have seen the footage in the sang uh which uh, that ndp bjp election uh, song you have seen that serio is sharing the same bonhomie with the baspee ji also and he is same bonhomie with narendra modi ji also so this is once again a unique things he is a very tested friend of bjp old friend of bjp we stand behind him we, we are with him and throughout the next 5 years bjp is going to extend complete and full support to ndp and our chief ministerial candidate cfio rio that's our commitment to the people of nagaland and we will maintain that in next 5 years thank you so much and we hope to see madam cruze in next assembly i believe that she should not win she should win with a huge and huge majority because this is a historical opportunity this is the day probably
the future generation will always recognize that these voters has elected a woman to the Nagaland Assembly for the first time, not only because she is a woman, because she is competent to lead and dare the people of 8 West Anangami. Thank you so much.